Okay, everybody. Hey, welcome. How are you doing? Adrian Nelson here. Um, just want to pick a card, and this one is um, very much pertaining to love. Um, the focus is romantic love, but it doesn't only have to be. It can any it can be any sort of um, you know area, avenue, issue, situation, circumstances that pertains to your heart. You know, love. So, <clears throat> so it can be between close friends. It can be between family members. It could even be about a job. All right. Um, and the question is what should you do now of course i'm reading for a collective so please take it as it resonates remember it's a general reading always check in you know does it resonate within your heart don't just take everything that i say to you verbatim um and let's see what we got you know if you want to focus focus on your own personal energy then you can also um contact me directly my email address is down below in the description and then we can um, find a slot to do a personal reading for you as well all right um so option one two or three putting the time stamps down below you choose an option that resonates with you and then we see what we got all right um i've got pre-selected oracle cards two for each of you and then i've got three different tarot decks to just clarify for you as well what we are getting i like to use three different decks because i like to make sure that there's an optimal or optimum opportunity for you to get the most clearest message for you all right so option number one answering the call the time is now so this is the time to go ahead and this is the time to you know to do something to step through the door to take things to that next step to um, you know, to engage that level of bravery, to go forward, to, to give yourself a chance in this world, to give um, somebody else a chance in this world, you know, um, maybe whoever you are dealing with, um, it's time to step forward um, or to go forward, to take that next step. And I feel for many of you, it's like the door is there or the doorway or the gateway, the opportunity is there um, and it is open. So the time is um, sort of very right at this particular point in time to do something and to move forward and to take things to the next step um, and to take that sense of bravery that can sometimes make us feel very uncomfortable because you know um, obviously as human beings we we sort of like to know where things are going to go next you know we don't sort of like the very um, pie in the sky type of thing but um, I feel that really the door is open for you at the moment and I feel there's a lot of support in nature for you as well. So, um, you know, if you also, if you need to, for example, get some divine guidance, spend some time with nature, spend some time in a garden, um, take a walk, take a swim, spend some time with an animal. Even if it's just that you, you know, that you look at pictures online or through a magazine or a book or something. Um, but really, I feel almost like get your hands dirty, you know, get connected with the earth, which doesn't even mean that you have to sort of dig up the dirt, so to speak. But, um, you know, maybe like, for example, I literally feel like sitting on a, like on a river or, or like, you know, in the flow of the river and you've got like this round sort of stones and just touching them and feeling the vibration of life and let it flow through you. Um, and that in itself will assist you in many beautiful ways. Look at what the angels want to let you know, helpful people. So there's helpful resources coming for you, you know. Um, you're not alone in the situation. You may feel that you're very alone because, you know, often when we obviously have some sort of problem or I shook the camera, I apologize. When we have some sort of problem or appeal or battle or whatever it is in life, we often feel that we are alone and we often feel that there's nobody supporting us. Um, but this is letting you know that you, in fact, you are... You are not alone um, and you know as you go forward you may not see it right now but there's valuable resources valuable people that are standing by to assist you in your quest um, in what it is that you need some answers you know with and for okay so what do you do next this is about faith this is about trust um, let's see all right I'm gonna draw you four cards just going to take whichever one is at the bottom of the deck. Oh, lovely stuff. So you've got the three of pentacles and you've got the seven of cups for starters. So this is speaking about a new beginning, a new foundation, taking a risk, taking a chance. And it's also speaking about the fact that nobody's perfect. 
is speaking about the fact that, you know, you might perceive flaws in somebody else, you perceive flaws within yourself. Um, it could be that you may be thinking of, um, you know, rekindling with someone. I hear that quite strongly in my mind. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, the same sort of um, shit show that it was before, you know. This can be the start of something very beautiful and new as you start afresh. And then you've got the Four of Cups and the King of Cups. So there's an offer here, there's an offer of love, there's an offer of let's start over. There's a, there's a you know, almost like a quest for, for forgiveness. Can we try again? Can we give us another shot? Can we see if we can maybe build something new? You know, if we try again and we sort of give things an honest chance. Um, and whilst you might be hesitant to do that, I actually feel that it might actually serve you in an abundantly very positive way. Okay. Option number two, we've got finding sanctuary open to your spiritual source. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Um, opening to your spiritual source. This is you ascending where you are right now. This is you going to that next level. This is you. Um, I, I feel more when, you know, even though initially the focus for this reading is sort of love and romantic love, and I look into it a little bit more. I feel for you at the moment, this is more you sort of merging with that um, eternal flow of love, of life that we are all part of, that we are all an expression of. I feel more that's sort of what's happening for you at the moment, you know, um, where you may be going to sort of, you know, higher levels of consciousness and um, sometimes, not always, but sometimes in these times, you know, it is better to sort of like ascend alone because you don't know if the other person is going to ascend with you. I do ever feel somebody ascending with you. Recovery. Okay. So, um, maybe you need some time, you know, for, for some forgiveness. Maybe that's why you need to be on your own because you need to come to terms with certain things. You need to be able to, to accept certain things, certain almost sort of values, you know. Um, it's like looking for a sense of place, so to speak, within yourself, within your emotions, how that is sitting with your, within your emotions. So I do feel that, you know, for some of you, you do need that um, sort of like time out on your own to really come to terms with things and for your heart to heal. You know, there's some heart healing that is required over here because um, it might just be that I feel that emotionally things were a little bit overwhelming for you. And um, you did need that time out. But there's good news here though. Let's see. Okay, so you've got the Magician and the Ace of Wands, first two cards for you. This is about letting you know that you can make this work, that this is a, um, you know, the, the sort of brand or grand opportunity really has already started and it's a, there's a beautiful divine intervention here happening, um, like an emotional breakthrough basically, okay? Um, that really serves you in an abundantly positive way. Things can be worked out here, things can be resolved here, there might be some issues that need to be worked with, but, um, you know, and sometimes you need to, you know, um, sometimes when you fall, follow a more sort of spiritual way of living, you know, we don't want to go and say, for example, see the counselor because, you know, it's not a sort of spiritual thing to do. Um, or even, um, you know, sometimes, in certain sort of communities, especially in the black community, you know, in South Africa and in all pa some part, other parts of the world as well, you feel that you can't really go and see sort of like a counselor or um, maybe there's sort of like maybe you've got something like depression or something like that. And it almost feels like you're not allowed to have things like mental illness, for example, there, or, or just sort of mental sort of support that you require. It's often felt that you shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. But in actual fact, um, you know, those resources are there and they can be very helpful for you. All right. Um, so this is actually kind of calling you to really use all your resources in order to make this work. And then I've got the eight of ones and the ten of ones. So this is lovely because this is about emotionally balance sort of coming about. And I feel that for you, you know, dealing with another person, um, it might be that, you know, that sort of like the thought patterns, the beliefs and the values that you had, that they may have been wonderful before, but you're kind of going to that next level. So a lot of the things and a lot of the ways in how you would have maybe operated previously could be a little bit outdated. So you kind of want to go back to the drawing board again and um, really be open to doing what it is that's required of you 
um, you know, obviously start honoring yourself and the other person to move forward in a prosperous manner. All right. And then option number three, begin now, take your first step. Ooh, you know, that is not actually vague at all. Begin now, take your next step. This is, I feel that for some of you, I feel that there might be almost like a sense of separation. Like you might be saying, you know, it might be a temporary goodbye, but saying goodbye to somebody maybe for, for a while. Um, and not quite sure how you feel about that. Um, also, I feel that someone's heading out somewhere and it might be for a very good, you know, purpose. Um, and it's almost like you have to, it's, it's almost like it's normal for you to stay, but you're also making your mind up as to where you're actually going to go with this person, which I actually feel you might do. All right. And then look at this beautiful card that you've got improving health, health on all levels, um, you know, through all the chakras, through all your energy centers, basically of your aura, of your mindset, of your belief in the clarity of how you see the situation, really. So improving health of the situation all around. Um, also, um, I feel that the, the sort of relationship that you have with the other person, that in itself is improving as well, because, you know, sometimes... Um, we believe that we are doing what's best for everyone and you know someone's going it's like that's oh, okay i'm gonna stay it's all alright but sometimes that other person actually wants you to say you know that you're gonna go with them and you might be dealing with such a situation you know, that it's okay if you stay but you know the person might prefer if you actually go with them i feel all right let's see what we've got for you in tarot my beautiful number threes <laughs> Ooh. So, Two of Cups and Three of Swords came up first. This is about a coming together. This is about hearts that have been healed. This is about situations that have been overcome. Um, you know, forgiveness that has already gone sort of like instigated through, which is lovely. Um, and with Knight of Pentacles there and Eight of Cups, again, this is somebody going for the money. Maybe this is the, the breadwinner, for example, or grant opportunity going out for. Um, and I feel that, you know, it might be... Now, obviously, not trying to influence your decision, but it might be in the best interest of the entire situation if you actually do consider going with them. All right. So that's what I got for you. Just a very quick one. Um, I have to go and do a, a personal reading. Um, but wishing you all the best and see you all soon for your detailed readings that are coming up for all the different zodiac signs. Namaste, love and light.